Hello and a very warm welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we have a combination problem where we have an original sword 5 plus 2 square root 6 and we need to convert it into this algebraic combination. So maybe pause the video and give it a try and let me know how you get on. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So let's get started. Our first step is to concentrate on the 6 here. And we're going to split that out. Okay, So we're going to separate out the radical by writing 3 plus 2 replacing the 5. And a square root 3 and the square root 2 replacing the square root 6. Now our next step will be to create a square. So we're going to work on the square root 2 all to be squared is the same as 2. Do the same with the 3. Get square root 3 all to be squared. And now we have 2 square root 2 square root 3. So therefore we can square root both sides and we can put a square root here okay and it will cancel the square down here therefore the square root of x is equal to the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 and that's end of step 1 we've written it down here but we have to do some more work and we need to rationalize the denominator to simplify it so we can multiply above and below by the conjugate of the denominator. So we're going to change the sign here between the two radicals. If we multiply above and below by that factor, we will get so a balance. So let's multiply it out. So for the numerator, we will get the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3. Below then, we have the difference of two squares. So we will have the square root of 2 all to be squared minus the square root of 3 all to be squared and that's 2 minus 3 which is equal to negative 1 so this means it will change the signs of the radicals above now to finalize step 2 all we need to do is divide in by our negative 1 and this will change the signs of the numerators so therefore, 1 over square root x is equal to square root 3 minus square root 2. Okay, so we have two parts now. So we have square root x plus 1 over the square root of x. So let's go on to step 3 now. And we need to add them together. So this is very simple. All we need to do is add square root 2 plus square root 3 above and also we have another square root 3 minus the square root 2 so that's equal to 2 square root 3 now that we're on to step 4 it looks a bit more complicated at this stage but don't worry because it's not so bad we're going to rewrite the internal part as the square root of x all to be squared replacing x plus 1 over its reciprocal, 1 over square root x all to be squared, plus twice square root x, 1 over square root x. And we know that this is equal to 1 inside here. Now this is ideal. As you can recall, this is the square of square root x plus 1 over square root x. And this is what we have above. All right, so all we have to do now is square root it, and let's get our result. So we're going to square root it. There you go. And we're going to cancel the square root. Now, finally, let's put all the pieces of the puzzle together. So we're inputting 2 square root 3 into the first bracket. And for the exponent then, we have... 2 square root 3 again. So it's very obvious that our answer is 2 
square root 3 all to the power of 2 square root 3. We can rewrite that as square root of 12 to the power of square root 12 also. Therefore, our final solution is 2 square root 3 to the power of 2 square root 3 or square root 12 to the power of square root 12. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon on the next maths video.